It was my fifth season on the show. And I had already played a number of types of scenes. I went out to LA before this season began and spent some time with our former director of photography, Peter Salem, and also had visited Universal with Peter. Uh, he was working on Murder, She Wrote. Another one of our directors, Leo Penn, was working Matlock, so Leo was kind enough to have me over to Matlock's set one day and we had lunch. He and I talked about the fact that I needed to perform on the show at that time. Amazingly to me, when I returned the next season, I was going to perform on the show and Leo was the one that was going to direct. Although Leo said he didn't have anything to do with it, um, I, I've wondered sometimes. I know it was Carol who made those kinds of decisions, and I feel sure that uh, it was Carol who decided it was my time. So he wrote a specific scene to have me perform and play. It was a comedic scene, actually. We did a whimsical song. It's called the Sparta Impound Blues. Thomas Bird did most of the funny parts of the scene, and I got to pick my guitar. I'd like to do my biggest hit for you now. Carol O'Connor came to me one day and said, Randy, do you play the guitar? I said, yes, sir. Of course, I'm not a proficient guitar player, but I learned real fast. Amen. Yes, sir. I want to tell you, we had this scene. I'm going to set it up for you so it makes sense. These two guys had come to town. They had kidnapped the chief's daughter. We had impounded their car. We had it there at the impound yard there in Sparta. Mr. O'Connor wrote this song for us to do. I hate being me. You make your toys be. There's your machine. But I must hold the key. characters sure did look funny at us and so did uh, I guess the 25 million Americans that laughed right along with us as they watched on CBS and I don't know how many million around the world thanks for watching Randall Franks TV please come back get with us again